this is Kara and I'm here with a new journal project. I'm actually going to hopefully make four journals. I'm super excited. This is something I've wanted to do for a really long time and now is the time. I love all things Maggie Holmes <laughs> and I think it would be really, really fun to make journals using her different lines and then some vintage older kinds of papers. So what I've done here before I show you that is I've gone through my paper pads and my double sided papers of the different uh, lines. I think I bloom, flourish, carousel, just all kind of mixed together. This one, which is an older line, this one is, what is this one? This one, I don't know. It's an older line, anyway. And I've separated them out. I mean, all of her lines kind of mix and match well, but I kind of picked what I wanted to go together. <clears throat> and then I've pulled out some fun, a bunch, a bunch of papers. I'm sure I won't use all of these. But I have some music pages from a children's music book. Pages from Little Women. It's a larger page, so I thought that would be fun. Oh, <laughs> look at what I'm gonna do, oh my gosh. <sighs> I feel like a Maggie Holmes journal <clears throat> needs a little Edith Holden. <sighs> so I ripped pages out of my Edith Holden book. I have two, so I feel like I'm okay. <laughs> I was able to do it. But I actually ripped out some pages. Look at, I ripped out all of these pages. <sighs> Oh, I think I can. I think I can. Okay, so I have these out as well, and I want to put those in. And then I found, some, because, you know, Maggie Holmes is floral, so I pulled out some of these from a big floral book I have. And, oh, there's more of the kids' music, music. And then... I think I got these from Amore Fabriques. I think that, I think I... Hmm, yeah, that's a good question. I don't totally remember. But these are covers to different, um, you know, music, music, what, sheets. <laughs> wow. So anyway, I thought those would be kind of fun to toss in there. Some copy dyed paper. And then... I have just a hodgepodge. Oh, look, more Edith Holden. So this is Nature's Remedies that I printed out from Tracy Fox. And then these are from Amour Fabrics in a recent haul. Came in one of the journal packs, or the journal pack I bought. Some old papers. So I thought all of those would be super fun. So I think it's gonna be fun to do this. Um, I love the idea of the vintage with the fun and colorful pages. And I wanna make different size pages and uh, maybe the different pockets. And then I'm also trying to figure out how I wanna do like a shaker, a shaker page or a shaker thing within the, the books. So uh, yeah. <laughs> And then let me show you the covers. <clears throat> um, I found four in my stash that I think will work. This one I think is awesome. I'm going to definitely have to cut this part out and expand the, the, the for the spine. And I have this one. I think this one's going to be pretty good. We'll see once I get all the pages. This one might have to be bigger. I'm not sure. And then I'm excited about this one. I was gonna do a fairy journal in the, with this cover, but I really like the size of this book and I think it'll be really a nice size for the Maggie Holmes. Plus this yellow is a great Maggie Holmes yellow. <clears throat> so see, I think that'll be fun. Okay, so four journals. It's gonna be a big project. <laughs> Um, and they're all different sizes, so I have to cut them all different, but I'm excited. And then I have 
because I'm a hoarder of Maggie Holmes. I have a bunch of embellishments and different things, so I'll be able to make all sorts of fun tags and tuck spots and ephemera to go in the journals. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so I hope you stick with me and let's, I'll come back after I've cut the pages and we'll see where we're at. Okay, hold on. All right, I've cut my papers and then I did a few more things. <laughs> so I thought I should stop what I was doing and show you where I'm at. So I'm making four journals and I've cut down the papers. This one's gonna have a pocket. This one's gonna hopefully have a little window where you can see the bird. And then I did some stenciling with Vicki Booten's um, paste. I'm not sure what it's called. Creativex. This is the gold glaze. Isn't that pretty? Shimmery. And then I made some pockets, shaker pockets. This one has vellum, and then this one has acetate. This would be fun to add like a picture. I might add some embellishments, but for the person who owns the journal, it'd be cute to put a little picture right there. So different size papers. There's the flip. More stenciling. No, so that's that one. Oh, and then this one I have an envelope pocket that I made and here's the other nope. <laughs> Oops, the other side. There's the other side. And then I also put in some wallpaper that I found in my stash. So yeah. Alright, so there's number one. And then number two is the fairy book. Same thing, cut up the paper. Here's an envelope pocket more of the stenciling more papers and then this one I think the shaker that I made yeah that's right here so this one has two vellum shaker pockets and I added some tickets to the side so there's number two. <clears throat> number three is this one. And same thing, same papers, stenciling, wallpaper, and then an envelope. Where's the shaker? Oh, here it is. And then this one I did an acetate, and I put a line here so that the the um, sequence, there's a word, would kind of stay on both sides, and then this side is a pocket. Right. Not sure if that's where I had it. Things keep getting moved around, and eventually they will have their final <laughs> destination. All right, and then the last one, same thing. More of the stenciling. I just love how that turned out. And here's this shaker pocket. So this one has acetate, and then this one on the back side I did just a pocket. Maybe we can put stuff. Okay. So that's where I'm at. I think next, well, I'm not sure, but I might add some trims, uh, lace and different trims on the journals, we'll see, I'm not sure. Oh, and let me show you what else I made. With my new Elizabeth Craft dies, I made these super cute little envelopes and I added the ties and they just have a little, a little envelope. So those are gonna go somewhere throughout the journals. Probably make it a tuck spot. And then I also made these cute little clipboard looking embellishments, also from the dies. So those will end up in the journals. So I made those, and yeah. I think, like I said, I think I might do some, 
adding of <laughs> fabric and lace and we'll see. And then I also made these with my scraps. I love making these little um, pads with leftover cutoffs. So those are also gonna end up in the journal. Yeah, I'm off to a good start. All right, um, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Before I start sewing, I thought I wanna add some flip outs to some of the pages with some of my cutoffs. So here is a cutoff and I thought it would be fun to make this a flip out. And I'm just gonna get some washi tape I think what I'm gonna do, since my washi tape, this is a little older washi tape, I'm gonna add some, um, a strip of tape. I can stay near the edge. <laughs> that. And then Alright, so there's one, and I'm going to go through and do a few more. Alright, I'll be back. Alrighty, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add some paint to some of the pages. I'm going to add a little gesso with the paint. And this will just give just another, just another layer, just another fun page. Kind of mix it up a little bit. I'm going to use Dina Weekly's Carnation, which is already a nice light pink. And when I add the gesso, will even be lighter. <clears throat> and then this can also act as a new writing space. So I'm going to go do this through the other pages in the other books, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 